Hey, this is Alex coming at you from Hub City, Somerville. Today we're doing a review on the Nike SB Dunk High Unheard Of Oakland A's. So Cincinnati Skate Shop Unheard Of did a commemorative release for I believe the 96 MLB All-Star Game featuring the Cincinnati Reds versus the Oakland A's. Um, awesome sneakers, very inspired, very controversial. So these released exclusively and unheard of early. Upon the early release happening, the MLB got super pissed at Nike because the shoes resembled the team so much, so they sent them a cease and desist. Nike freaked the fuck out, pulled the shoes off the shelf, stopped selling them immediately, and the special packaged pairs began to value upward crazy. Um, this is not one of the special package pairs. This is a pair that came afterwards. So I believe that Nike went through some kind of legal dispute with the MLB quietly on their own terms. And they, I guess, paid them out a certain amount in order to release the rest of these sneakers that they had already produced. So these came out maybe six months after the original uh, cease and desist debacle and then began to pop up at local skate shops. Uh, they also popped up at places like Nike outlets because the release was semi-canceled and stock kind of wound up all over the place in different warehouses. Um, these, this particular pair, the high top version, the Oakland A's, incredible quality. The uppers were really well done. Obviously the colors mimic the original Oakland A's colors, but it goes a little deeper than that. Um, they have a nice buttery suede upper. If any of you watching remember the Dunk High Lucky Bees, they were all suede and featured a hornet on the heel. They're one of the first Dunk samples and in that era were like priceless. This is the closest thing you'll ever get to owning Lucky Bees. So collectors like, I, I have a pair myself, collectors like me needed them and I love them. Uh, the heel counter, also a nice call back to the early days of the Dunks, features a fully stitched embroidered American flag. Uh, the same thing's true for the low top version as well, but it just features Cincinnati Reds colors instead of Oakland A's colors. There's no special insoles, there's no special box, and from what I've been made aware, the reason that they were able to release them was because the season desist was specifically for the special box version. It hit too close to home with the MLB's rights to owning whatever took place at that game. So that's as, about as much sense as I can make of that for you as a viewer. Um, the value itself, uh, they were all over the place when they first dropped, holy hell. When the season desist got hit, these became like thousand dollar sneakers overnight. Especially with the special box, I mean, people were very, very, they took to them very kindly. Um, after the fact, when things kind of were mum, and then they dropped them later on, there wasn't much being said. So it, it kind of wasn't really, it was a lukewarm reception from the dunk crowd. I personally loved them. I thought about the Lucky Bees right away. I caught the pair, skated them, kept them in the tuck, still have them. Uh, the tongues also feature a really cool MLB, like trading style, uh, card style, uh, stitching on the sides. And outside of that, I mean, that basically makes up this shoe and its release. Let us know if you're feeling the sneaker. Let us know if you're feeling Unheard of Skate Shop. Tell us some stories about them if you got any. And please keep viewing. Please keep subscribing. Please keep commenting. Your viewership means the world to us. We got a whole thumbnail of dunk videos you can check out right below. Uh, thank you for tuning in to Hub. It's love. See you soon.